Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows that it must outrun the fastest lion, or it will be eaten. Every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up, and it knows that it must outrun the slowest gazelle, or it will starve. It doesn't matter whether you are a lion or a gazelle. When you wake up in the morning, you better be running. <laughs> Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests, when you look at me, you don't really think of a lion or a gazelle. You probably more accurately think of a water buffalo. <laughs> I have always been a big guy, and I've never been at the front of the race. But running has taught me many things in my life. It has shown me that you must be running to get where you need to go, or even to get where you don't even realize you need to go. My running career started on a warm May Minnesota day in the year 2000. All of my friends dressed to the tees in fancy tuxedos and flowing dresses. I was dressed in a hooded sweatshirt and jeans, driving home from the Das Cocado High School gymnasium after I had just watched the, the prom grand march. I wasn't having a date that night at the prom. I instead had a date with my parents in the TV. I looked at the fat sophomore in the mirror and decided that something needed to be done. I was never going to be alone on prom night again. So I went running to the end of the driveway. I even made a loop around the farm warehouse just for extra measure. I ran all summer. Now it turns out my inability to get a prom date had less to do with my running and more to do with my deficiencies in other areas. But my running didn't help me get a prom date. What it did do is it got me in shape for the football team, and I received a starting position for the Dasco Cato Chargers football team. So even though my running did not help me go down the aisle for the Grand March, it did help me run through the players' tunnel on Friday night. And that was my lesson, that I better be running. <laughs> Fast forward through graduation, and I go off to college, and unfortunately, my running career has stalled. The only time that I ever seem to be running is at community festival fun runs. The neighboring town of Dassel was continuing the Midwestern tradition of celebrating a food item with their Dassel Red Rooster Days and the Midwest's largest chicken barbecue. And they were hosting a Labor Day morning five mile run. I started off the race and I thought I was having a pretty good pace. But that's when I saw the crowd going off in front of me. I was in last place. If you think running is hard, try running with a fire truck following you at four miles per hour. I went around the straightaway, the last one before the finish line, and that is when I saw her. The woman in second to last place. And that is when I decided to start sprinting. Da 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 And that is when I sprinted by my unknowing adversary. I had passed her with 50 feet to go in the race, and I had achieved second to last place. Victory was mine. Da 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 da. Now I know what you're thinking. Is there really victory in passing out what turned out to be a 51-year-old woman? <laughs> the answer is no. There is no victory in that. Well, what I did learn is that if you don't put in the hard work and preparation for running, you're going to have to put in a lot of effort just to remain out of last place. I have learned that you better be running in order for you to get what you want. As we continue through college, I end up going into the real world and getting my first real world job, and my running career has come to a stall once again. And I get what is going on the list as as many times in my life, as something that seemed like a good idea at the time, I decided that I was going to run the Twin Cities Marathon. And I wasn't just going to walk through this marathon, I was going to run it in under five hours. I set up a plan, and when I went from panting through 5Ks, I ended up completing my weekend runs and picking blisters off my feet with my weekend runs of 15, 18, and 21 miles. It was a dreary cold day in Minneapolis when I started the marathon, but I started out doing great. I was even smiling to my parents as I passed them at the 15 mile marker. However, when I reached mile 18 and I was crossing the bridges into St. Paul, that is when I hit the wall. My legs 
were completely stiff. My lungs felt like raisins, and I couldn't <laughs> run more than 30 seconds at a time without having to take a walk, walking break. Five hours ticked by, five and a half hours ticked by, and it wasn't until I was approaching the end that a marathon official told me, you have to keep running, we're going to be shutting down the course pretty soon. <laughs> but that day I finished in five hours, 55 minutes, and 50 seconds. Four minutes and 10 seconds before the marathon course shut down. Now, I don't like comparing myself to actual marathon runners who can watch all of Chariots of Fire and the amount of time it takes them to finish versus the amount of time it takes me to finish. <laughs> but what training for the marathon did that summer is that it revitalized running in my life and has helped me get on the back, back on the path to healthy living so that I may be able to run and shed some of the pounds that is going to help me become healthy and successful in life. Running has always been an important part of my life and it is something that has given so much back to me. And even if it hasn't helped me complete my silly goals of not wanting to hang out with my parents on prom night, of not having to chase down a woman nearly three times my age and not finish last in a race, and not having to walk the last third of a race that you have trained months to complete. I have learned so many valuable things through running and how it has been an important part of my life. So whether you are a gazelle or a lion or a water buffalo, you don't need to be running to avoid getting eaten. You don't need to be running to avoid starvation. You need to be running because it is the only place, only way that you are going to get to where you want to go, even if you don't realize that that is where you needed to be before you got there. Madam Prime Minister.